with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. If you want wind, go up to Mount Washington, New Hampshire. Always pretty breezy up there. Today, they measured a wind gust of 147 miles per hour. Keep in mind that mountain is about 6,300 feet above sea level, but that was tapping in to some of the wind from the hurricane or tropical storm moving through New England. The highest August gust ever measured. Now, this is no longer a tropical system. This is a post-tropical cyclone. Isa Ias, that's the last time I'm going to say that name. Thank goodness. It is now moving into Canada and it has done its damage here in the United States. Numerous reports of tornadoes from the Carolinas all the way into New England. Millions without power across the eastern seaboard as well. For us, a very different story. That's our time lapse from Columbus, our Alpha Insurance camera. Some great color in central Alabama this evening. And of course, Winston County, where you had some rain earlier. It's always nice to have some color at sunset in the middle of summer. Now, spotty showers, yes, we had some heavy downpours. Some of you likely got over an inch. Most of us didn't see anything today, and that's just the nature of the beast this time of year. Our first alert forecast, our helper tonight, we've got Gracie. Get ready for a mostly sunny start. 69 at 7 o'clock, 85 by noon. Pretty nice in the afternoon, 4 o'clock, 88 degrees. Now, as I mentioned, can't roll out a stray shower, but rain chance is 10% or less close to zero, it would appear. We've got comfortable 70s out there right now with a northerly breeze, relatively dry air. Tomorrow, mid to upper 80s, a shot at 90 degrees, but all things considered, a little bit below average, fairly dry air, a great summer day locally, warmer, lower 90s, a better bet of that down across central and southern parts of Mississippi and Alabama on our Wednesday. As we look ahead, well, Fairly nice to round out the work week, but the dog days are coming on back. Humidity, spotty storms, heat in the seas over 100 degrees. Get ready. Deep tropical moisture builds back in here by the weekend. That's all this color. That's that soupy air, the air that you wear, as you say. As they say, with all that drenching sweat you will have just going outside the door when it gets really hot and humid. And that's coming our way for the weekend. In the near term, we've got high pressure to our north. That will just keep a, a little bit of dry air in place for the next few days. So better rain chances will be over here to our east and to our west. We don't really have any major concerns for us as we close out the work week. But as we get into the weekend and next week, more typical summer weather for us. Let's check it out with your AccuWeather 7-day forecast. 88 tomorrow, 91 Thursday, 95 Friday, progressively hotter here. but. I still think humidity levels okay through Friday, overnight lows in the 60s. By your weekend, still mid-90s. The humidity goes up several notches here, and the heat index will likely be over 100 degrees at some time starting Saturday.